What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Oakland Raiders franchise. We are in week number six, and this is old school football. So this is the trade deadline week. We could not make any more trades after this game versus the Broncos. So before we jump into this game, we will check our roster. We got two very good tight ends, and I'm thinking... It would be wise to get both these guys on the field at the same time. So you might see some new packaging with some two tight end looks. Anyways, man, Middleton's in the last year of his contract. He's 86 overall. Sims above him is still very young, only 29 years of age. And old lineman can be very, very productive into their late 30s. So he might be a mainstay. So we can mess around and get a third round pick from the Skins. They need a left guard. He's in the last year of his contract. They don't. If it doesn't work out with him, then just release him. But if it does, then you have somebody on the roster that you can re-sign and give a big contract to, and he's happy and all as well. I was looking at the running backs as well because right now I'm looking for somebody that splits Tyrone Wheatley and Justin Fargus perfectly. A strong back that has decent speed and can hang on to the ball. There's not that in free agency, so Tyrone Wheatley will be our power back, and obviously Fargus will be our speed back, our more explosive back, and he is now our starting running back for the rest of the season. We are going to take the risk with the reward as far as his carryability is concerned. But let's go. This is for the first place in the AFC West. Whoever wins will be sitting on top. Whoever loses will be sitting in second place. So can we get the job done at the rocky start to the season? We've kind of hit our stride with back-to-back -back wins. Can we make it three straight and they win versus the rival Denver Broncos. We're going to get that thing to Fargus to the left side. Brought down after a gain of around five. Second down to five. We go right up the gut. Huge block by Zach Crockett. Fargus is going to follow his fullback to glory. Look at this block. Absolutely filthy. Got jacked up. First down and 10. We're going to fake the run. Gannon has it. Gannon going to throw it back to Fargus. And he forgot his hands on the sideline. Second down and 10 now, our formation. Gonna get the ball to Tyrone Wheatley. Breaking tackles and making people miss. He juked John Lynch. Got out of the tackle by Fergus. Said he's like, coach, I can still be the number one guy. I, I know you can, but we need big plays in the running game to be successful this season. So we're gonna get the ball back to Fergus. Should have cut it on the inside of Doug Jolly. Instead, we go to the outside, only pick up two. Looking now, still gonna find Porter who's covered by Chan Bailey, so his targets might not be as much as it was, you know, in the previous weeks. We're going to run the ball with Wheatley. He gets stopped, so bring out the kick team when we hit this thing perfectly. You know the kicking woes have been very, very well documented. It has been a big struggle of ours, but today we're looking quite good. And I know that's only the first kick of the game. Drones on the kick return. Going to get this one up past the 25 and just shy of the 30-yard line. That's actually, he got past the 30, just shy of the 35-yard line. Let me get it correct. Second down and four. Ted Washington, baby, with the sack. Our second sack of the season. Our first user sack of the year. And our other sack came from uh, Hamilton, who's a backup Defensive end, backing up Warren Sapp when we put Warren Sapp in the middle, then he comes into the ball games, obviously. So that pass was caught by Charlie Adams, but he was shy of the first down. And then we get sacked, so loss of 13. It was a option route that I was looking for for Fargus. He decided to do the comeback instead of the out, and I hesitated, and we get sacked. Looking downfield for Fargus here, showing off his hands on that play, but... It, it, you know, it would have been a miracle to get a first down in that situation. So they give the ball to Garrison Hurst. He gets smacked. Only a gain of one. Mike Quinn going to find Ashley Lee. My boy Jake Plummer going to be singing it through the wire for the next four weeks. Says he has a broken jaw and that jaw is wired shut. Kanye. First down and 10. Toss play now to Garrison Hurst. And Hurst. Has Lane all the way to the 35 yard line, excuse me, to the 30 yard line. Garrison is turning back the hands of time like it's 1999 and he's playing those New York Jets. And ironically enough, the Niners are actually playing the Jets in this franchise this week. Quentin Griffin to the outside, brought down by, by Rod Woodson. And that's going to be a first down right there. Second down and 10 for Mike Quinn. Going to find Ted Weaver. Excuse me, Jed Weaver, not Ted, but Jed. And he's going to find himself in the end zone. He's like, you better get my name right. I'm about to be dominating this game. So Jed Weaver with the catch. Touchdown, Denver. And just like that, we're down by four. We knew that this game was not going to be easy. As the first quarter comes to an end, we're down seven to three. 
So first down and 10, our formation gonna get that thing to Justin Fargus and the USC Trojan picks up four yards. Last time we had a Trojan in the backfield was Marcus Allen, I believe. It worked out pretty well. Maybe Fargus can rewrite that history, but we're gonna run the ball with Fargus up. The gut gets boxed in, but he has a box cutter and he picks up the necessary yardage for first. I'll give it to Zach Crockett. And he's going to fall for it. I love having big backs back there because they can just move the old line. Now we're going to throw it to Jay Rice who was open. He had Mobley on him. Favorable matchup for us when we overthrow him. Now we're going to go underneath the Tim Brown. Picks up the first down by the hands of his chitty chitty chitty. Second down and eight now. Looking down. Fear for Doug Jolly. Two tight ends. Two backs. Little 22 personnel out there. You don't see that in modern day football. But in Madden 05 and my franchise. Oh, we run the ball. All right, we love the fullbacks on these channels. You feel me? Gannon looking down. Fielder, we're going to get sacked, and that's going to bring the drive to an end. I thought about kicking the field goal, but you know my kicking issue, so I wasn't that confident. But I do need to see if he can hit a 60-yarder, talking about Janikowski. In real life, obviously, and on the 360 versus a man. As we get another user sack, Traverian Smith gets in there for the sack. Big time hit. He would have been kicked out the league for this. He leaves his feet, hits the quarterback. Not quite in the neck area, but you can't leave your feet no more. Anyways, Gwen, yo, back to back sacks. The pass rush is here. Do you see this? Do you see this? The pass rush is here and they're all user sacks today. Anyways, man, we got to see if Jano can hit a 60 yarder. I know in the 360 version of Madden 06 and beyond he can, but Madden 05 on the PS2, and all the PS2 man, it's a little bit different. So we will have to test that theory out, but it won't be on that play. So we get back to back sacks, we stop the Broncos, we run the ball, pick up a decent game there. Second down and seven, our formation, gonna give it back to Fargus. Weaving through traffic, brought down just shy of the first down marker. So here we go, two tight ends, two backs, 22 personnel. You're gonna see the lot here with Tao Johnson and Doug Jolly. And we pick up the first down right there. Gonna fire it to Jerry Rice. And we got so many weapons. It will be a great last ride for these guys if we can make it to the postseason. Maybe make it to that bowl as we score a touchdown with Tao Johnson. His first catch of the season. The second year tied in out of Stanford. So offset, I look for the Broncos. Mike Quinn going to find Jed Weaver. And, and yo, Jed Weaver is like, you're going to remember my name. I, y yes, y y yes, I will. That pass caught by Ashley Lali from Hawaii. Ted Washington! Let's go, another user sack. Let's, that's four sacks in the first half. We had one sack coming into the game and it's week six. That means in five and a half quarters of football, or five and a half games, excuse me, of football, we couldn't get the sack. Now sacks are coming in like hot cakes at IHOP. Anyways, man, it's gonna be third down. I'm gonna fire it to Tim Brown and that's gonna be a first down. So we only got one timeout, 23 seconds on the clock. Gonna try to get in field goal range. Hopefully it's a doable field goal. As we find Jay Rice who makes the catch. Now we gotta hurry back to the line of scrimmage. And we do so with 11 seconds on the clock. We got Tim Brown open and we throw a perfect pass but it's off of his hands. Would have been a tough catch, but that would have had us at the 35 yard line which is field goal range. We throw it to Porter here, makes the catch. And this is not, we're looking at a 60 yarder. And I hit it perfectly and the wind was going in our direction and I just miss it. So maybe we can't hit a 60-yarder, or maybe I need to bring down the arrow just a little bit more. I felt like I brought it down enough, but maybe a little bit more would be the perfect sauce. I don't, I'm not sure. Anyways, tight game, big time game. Whoever wins again will represent the AFC West on top of the standings of the AFC West. So that's what we're trying to be. Garrison Hurst, like, we're trying to be there too as he runs through contact and picks up a first down. Second down and eight. Gonna give it to Hurst again. Up the gut. Gonna get brought down by Napoleon Harris. Quinn fires it to a wide open. Ashley Lily. We send a blitz and he saw it coming. The hot rock was on. And it's gonna be a first down. Hester. Hester. Garrison Hurst. I don't know why I said Hester. Excuse me, y'all. That's gonna result in a gain of five. Give it to Hurst again. And Garrison is loose. And the Hurst man gets this one in the Raiders' territory. So going to run the ball with Quentin Griffin, and he going nowhere fast. B. Lamila in there for the stop. Second down and 11 to give it to Hurst. And, yo, that lane was massive. We have the number one rush defense in the NFL this year. But, yo, today is not looking that way. Unless Garrison Hurst is just that good. 
Rod Woodson saves the first down there. Second down and eight. They throw it to the end zone. Caught by Ashley Lalee. So they're setting up everything with their rushing attack, which is good for them because Mike Quinn is a backup for a reason. Cole going to work his way upfield. It's going to be first down and 10. We're going to fire it to Porter. I was reading Chad Blade the whole time. He dropped so far back. I was like, this is the right read. Throw it. And this hope champ don't force a fumble. Vargas to the left side. Gets us up past the 50. So in Broncos territory with a second down and six. And now we're going backwards again. The Broncos defense is harassing Gannon. Looking down. Phil, we had Rice. We have Porter. We go to Jerry Porter. And he's going to pick up the first down underneath. So now I'm looking at my receiving core like, I want to try Curry out. But his speed is just not there. And his hands are not there either. So Cole is the right guy there. So I was trying to figure out who I should move around to that fourth receiver spot. But hey, it will be uh, Chris Cole moving forward. Looking downfield, Gannon going to fire to Jay Rice. Jay Rice going to work his way upfield for a first down. Always reliable. Can still catch him with the best of them. Route running is still good. And he still gets that good separation. Now Gannon is loose. You're not going to spy Richie Rich. Richie Rich going to make you pay. First and 10, looking downfield. Gannon has it, throws it. Touchdown, Fargus. We had comeback routes across the board. They had to stay on their receivers. They couldn't branch out the Fargus. He makes the catch. And by the time Champ Bailey got there, it was too late. And we have a three-point lead. That pass caught by Garrison, who fumbles. And then he pushes. Bila Mila, and he gets back to the football. I thought it might have been not a fumble, but I did not want to risk a timeout or a challenge. But maybe I should have. Second down and seven. Good protection until it breaks down, and we smack Quinn. And that pass goes straight to the grass. Backwards pass here. That's going to be ruled a fumble. Excuse me, ruled a run play. Loss of around three. They got to punt that thing away. So Fargus up the left side, picks up a good game to end the third quarter. So here we go, man. Fourth quarter of play, and I was looking for a halfback dive, and I couldn't find one. There's only five seconds on the clock. I'm like, I got to call a timeout. So when you have two timeouts in a very, very close game that could come down to, a, to, to the wire, and I'm not trying to not have timeouts, but I had to burn one there. I was not trying to have a penalty. So first down and 10. We're going to get the ball to Fargus again. And if Zach Crockett can square up John Lynch, we are loose. It's still a good game. But we left some meat on the bone on that one. We're going to throw it to Jerry, 75 yards today, 21 after the catch like he used to do for the Niners back in the day. Going to find him again. That's a gain of nine. You better put Champ on Jerry Rice, but he don't want that smoke. Anyways, Fargus up the gut. John Lynch laying the hit stick, but it's okay. We got a first down. We're going to get that thing to Tyrone Wheatley. He takes a big hit. Oh, it. it it's game time, baby. If it's not already, it's game time right now with the hitting going on. Big time stop right there by Wilson. We got to settle for a field goal. The kick is up, and the kick is good. And I'm so proud of myself. Almost every single field goal has been perfect today. All of them have been good. We haven't missed the PAT. It's good look for us. A very, very good look with my thumbs or working with my brain in the kicking game. They're going to run that thing with Hurts. Breaks a tackle. And if they could have got that block on Rod Woodson, he's gone. But he's not. Rod Woodson with a touchdown saving tackle. I mean, we might have caught Garrison Hurst. He's not the fastest running back anymore, but I'm just saying. Third down, and it's just toss play to Hurst. And Perella is there for the stop. The D-line is playing so well today. Second down and eight. We're going to run the ball to Fargus. Fargus, he's going to get chopped down by Bailey. So third down and four again. And looking, going to fire it. To Brown. Anytime this man on coverage, I'm not testing champ. Okay, just get out your head. It's not gonna happen. John Lynch left laying the lumber again. Second down of five. Give it to Fargus up the gut. Get shut down. So here we go. Third down three. Gonna go to the air. And we're gonna find Rice, but he drops it. And I'm I'm gonna punt it. We could have tried another long field goal, but I'm gonna punt it this time. Pin him inside the 15. That pass broken up. Second down and 10. Quinn. To the left side, throws it incomplete again. Third down, a three of eight so far on third down. That pass caught by Darius Watts. He's not going to have the first down. So fourth and eight, they got to go for it. This is the ball game. Out of the offset eye look, Quinn under pressure, throws it quickly. It's going to be caught 
by Andre Madison, but he is not going to pick up the first down, and that is going to do it. We are in first place in the AFC West. Now, I hope this is not like our Broncos franchise where we just dominated the AFC West on our second channel. But my goodness gracious, ladies and gentlemen, this was a fantastic game. And I know that there's going to be some roster turnover. So for this year, this is great. Both us and the Broncos are playing fairly well. I'm surprised that the Chargers aren't playing that well. But who knows what's up with the quarterback situation. I'm not sure if it's Breeze starting. I'm not sure if it's Rivers starting. So that could be a reason why they're not playing that well. And the Chiefs got a great offense. But we know that defense isn't that good. And we know in Madden 05, it's all about the defense, baby. So anyways, we are set up perfectly this season to make it to the postseason. We just got to keep winning. Keep doing our thing, and I think we will. Our defense is playing well, and our offense again going, and our kicking game has arrived with the sacks as well. But that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. Peace, love. Hi, sauce.